violence which we pursue is here has lost its power under these friendly trees. So shall we burn thee once again this night, and in the flames that eat thine effigy, we shall read the sign, Midsummer sets us free. Ye shall burn me once again. <laughs> Now but leave plain, which hither ye have brought from regions where I reign. Ye fools and priests, I spit upon your fire. Wow. Prince of all mortal wisdom, owl of Bohemia, we beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. Three owl of Bohemia. There you see the funeral pyre burning uh, with the effigy of a human, or it could be real, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's been a lot of strange going-ons in that area of Northern California, but this is what the establishment is into uh, right here in America, the cremation of care. And this was July 15, 2000. These people are deadly serious, those taking part in the ceremony. Another point, the pyrotechnics you're seeing going off uh, were being released from beneath little rod iron crosses about a foot and a half tall. Also, notice the screams of pain coming uh, from the sacrifice. One of the facets of the ritual that goes deeply into the occult, again, we've already mentioned the druids at their bonfires are 
bonfires throwing throwing bodies into fiery pits after ritually cutting their hearts out or slitting their throats. They talk about reading the sign in the burning effigy, reading the sign. Again, research your history books on the occult, even the Encyclopedia Britannica on what the Druids would engage in. Uh, this is just unbelievably macabre and evil. So shall we burn thee once again this night, and in the flames that eat thine effigy, we shall read the sign. Well, we're going to confront George Bush on Bohemian Grove. George Bush Jr. They've been announcing on CNN, MSNBC, on television last night and today. For the first time in history, they're admitting it, why the vice presidential decision was made at Bohemian Grove. George Bush Sr., the former president, and Golden Bow and others. So now they're just throwing it in everybody's face. Uh, we've broken the story over a week ago. July 15th, we were in Northern California. They're trying to ignore it. George Bush is down here at the uh, governor's mansion across the street from the Capitol about to announce Dick Cheney uh, as his vice presidential running mate. We're going to go blow the party for him and get the information out to people. We're not going to stop. We're getting in their face. I want to make it clear that I'm neither Republican nor Democrat. But the facts speak for itself. George Bush Sr., Jr., even their grandfather, Prescott Bush, were all members of the Bohemian Club. So we dropped by to, well, let them know that we're fully aware of their activities. This is massive. This is how George Bush dresses up. Right here. We got him on tape. This is how they dress up. Right here. In red and black robes. A little more pointy, though, like the Klan. We got them on tape. This is how George Bush dresses. Right here when he's in the Bohemian Grove. This is how he dresses. We've already put it on television. Absolutely disgusting. George Bush isn't a conservative. He's not for family values. He is nothing but a Luciferian twit. A Luciferian twit, Bush. You may think you can feed on the human population. We say no here. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Long live the Constitution and death to the new world. admitting all this. We have it on videotape. It is documented. It is documented. A Luciferian devil worshiper. Already people all over Austin are talking about it. We're not afraid of you. We're not afraid of your minions. In fact, we're waking your minions up every day with the hardcore evidence. We know your father met 11 times with Bill Clinton in 91. The whole thing was stage managed. We understand you've been helping to sell this country out, Bush. And we're going to expose you and your Luciferian rights. We have the videotape. This is a massive story. One of the stories of the century. One of the stories of the century. How you had the Luciferian Pope for 121 years in Northern California. I went inside for the cremation of care. I witnessed the entire debacle. Many of these Secret Service agents have been in. No doubt protecting these people inside of this system. There, there had to be, in my belief, a, an occultist, a deep occultist, who designed each of the elements of this ceremony. It wasn't just a bunch of guys sit together at a bar and said, hey, let's have a good time. 